Something stinks for onion shippers in Oregon. It's time for another episode of Bells and Whistles. Hello everyone, Bill Wilson, Editor-in-Chief of Railway Track and Structures Magazine, with a look at the top stories we were following the week ending September 24th. The California High-Speed Rail Authority released its latest sustainability report for the High-Speed Rail Project. Milestones from this year include preserving or restoring more than 2,300 acres of habitat, planting over 7,000 trees, and avoiding 180,000 pounds of criteria air pollutants during construction. CHSRA CEO Brian Kelly said the agency is committed to delivering the nation's first truly high-speed rail system in a way that meets California's climate goals. The high-speed rail project is currently under construction along 119 miles in California's Central Valley. The Ohio Rail Development Commission has approved grant funding to Wheeling and Lake Erie Railway to improve the clearance of a railroad bridge over a state route in Tuscarawas County. WNLE owns and maintains the bridge, which has a posted clearance of 12 feet 6 inches. Over the past 17 years, Vehicles exceeding this height have struck the bridge at least 20 times, most recently in June of this year. The degree of damage done to the bridge has varied, but in several instances has shifted the entire bridge and track out of alignment. The possibility of a bridge strike causing a derailment is a potential danger to the public, and improving the bridge's clearance will help mitigate the risk. The Merchant's Bridge project in St. Louis hit a major milestone this week when the first of three mammoth bridge sections was lifted into place. The nine million pound piece was floated into the river and then hoisted by cranes to its final resting place. Crews are using a 10-day track outage to connect the piece and lay the track. The new bridge will be double tracked, which will increase capacity and result in fewer delays. Workers also will be seismic retrofitting the piers of the bridge, which is expected to be complete in 2023. Onion shippers in Oregon have joined together to make moving their product quicker on the rails, but recent developments might make them cry. A new rail shipping center is expected to be constructed, but some officials were under the impression that dirt would be moving by now and a delay has onion suppliers wondering if they will be able to ship the next harvest from the new location. Groundbreaking has been scheduled for October 1st, but construction work was supposed to start on September 13th. Now it looks like it will begin sometime in November. The first phase of construction also is $3 million over budget. Union Pacific has already been paid $2.6 million to handle rail work. Well, that's a look at the top news stories we were following the week ending September 24th. For the latest news, go to www.rtands.com. You can also follow us on social media. We are on Facebook and Twitter. Have a great weekend, everyone.